specifically on the side of the Kamala Harris. Traditional like uh, LA Times or the Washington Post and certain other newspaper or other media houses were the de Democratic side endorsing always, which were not endorsed at this time due to the uh, Trump and his allies that they try to be push them, uh, threaten and they didn't endorse to her. So that is not the point. The Kamala Harris is a grassroots uh, person. Uh, she is a very, very deep grassroots person who is always connected with the voters, connected with the organizations, connected with the unions. She is very, very uh, humble and then a very strong minded woman who never lost a single election. No, no, that's not my point. No, no, Ashok, Ashok, see, let's be realistic about this. Um, it's predominantly controversies around Trump. But when it comes to plagiarism by Kamala Harris, her lack of obvious intelligence, her incomprehensible ability to frame sentences that do not look like they are being read off an auto cue, allegations against her husband, all of these things are downplayed. I mean, it's, it's becoming, it, it's, it, it's, it's, uh, this sort of fascist temperament this time in the media. If you are not with Kamala Harris, then we will leave you out. You know, it's happening. And all across the world, I think the, my, my, the belief is it's Trump versus the media. Kamala Harris is generally seen to be an unintelligent person who is being propped up there and says whatever is written in her script. When she does not have a script, she can't even speak properly. There is a genuine issue. So, you know, uh, why, why so much bias? Peter, I can understand a little bit of a tilt, but this is not a tilt anymore in the US. What will they do if Trump wins? I think the not, reason not why the media that, that seems to be one-sided well, in the way uh, you're very, suggesting uh, very well is that people recognize that Trump is not JD. a traditional so candidate. He's not a, uh, not a uh, uneducated person or the bias or the certain type of a person. She is a very dedicated, strong, focused and very ground to earth worker. She always had, she never lost a single election. Uh, two times district attorney, two times attorney general, one time senator and one time vice president. Never had lost an election due to his, her intellectual values and her personality. Not because of any personal favors or any anything else. She is a people person. She is a very connected with the, all the unions and the low low income people, middle class people. Uh, rich no, I, people. I, I, this reminds me a little bit about the Brexit situation in the UK. You know, where anybody who was for exit was deemed to be evil. The media almost gave the victory to the other side and couldn't reconcile to the fact that many people wanted to get out of Europe. I think the media is not if, if, if I were to go by the media, the simple question would be, why is this race too close to call? You have the entire media with you and still the race is too